It's John Ruffle and I'd like to welcome you to my daily talks and I'd like to bring three small pointers to us today based on the idea that God is love. Now, we know that he is love, but we don't always see that love. But God's love is, first of all, is unconditional. He loves everyone. But the second point is that we need to respond to that love for it to be effective in our lives. If we don't respond with our heart and open our psyche, if you will, to the love of God, then he still loves us intensely, but it's hard for him to get through that shell, the walnut shell, if you like, of our hearts. And sometimes it takes us a lifetime to reach that point where we're willing to say, God, I accept your unconditional love and I accept your forgiveness and I accept all of the blessings you have for me. Now, lead me on from here. So we know imperfectly, obviously, we are not perfect. We see through a glass darkly at this stage. If God is this unconditional love that we've said, he's unconditional, then we have to open a door to him. But why is there so much suffering in the world today? And this has been highlighted through this COVID-19 pandemic around the world. I would suggest that it's because as a human race, we have gone the opposite direction from our creator's design for us to be in communion with him. And in a sense, we're a race that's in rebellion to God. There's born of the spirit, believers who are connected with God through Christ, and there's those that don't want anything to do with God. And so this world lies in the lap of the wicked one. So please, we should not blame God, who is infinite love, for the woes we see around us. But it is an opportunity for us to pray and say, Lord, you are the God who loves unconditionally. Help us to be channels of that love. Help us to receive that love. And help us, Lord, to pray for those who have yet to experience that love and tragically are suffering the consequences. Sadly, many people suffer the consequences of sin who have done nothing themselves to warrant that. But God knows what he's doing and he has an eternity where we can be in total union, free from pain. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. So what we see as great tragedies, God will always turn around. And at the bottom line is, God never fails. His love is infinite for you and for me. And so I think if we can rest in that fact and try to embrace it and accept it, we're going to be a lot, it's going to be a lot easier to get through these days that we're facing ahead. I know it's easy for me to say that, and I don't know the circumstances you're going through, but that's why we pray on a Wednesday, that's why we pray during the week, uh, in our prayer meetings. And if you do have prayer requests, we're very happy to pray with you and for you. Leave a comment in the comment box, or if you're on WhatsApp, send us a message to the prayer group, and we want to be joined with you in prayer and fellowship with you in your suffering and try to bring you to that place of peace, which we can't do, but God gives us that peace through Christ our Lord. God bless you. John Ruffles saying, thank you for watching today.